And welcome to Tranquility. It is again with the wonderful EU Harmony Division here, as it is Season 9, and we have a banger of a match for you today. Both teams undefeated. Someone has got to earn an L here. My name is Gio. I'll be casting for you today alongside Mick Missile. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> This will be like my first casting match, so I'm, I'm pretty excited that's going to be so, such a such a banger. Looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looking at it, both teams are two to zero, oh, so there is a story here in terms of someone needing to come out on top between these well undefeated teams of Dino Nuggies and Brig Divers. It's gonna be interesting. Have you have you been watching these teams or or know of like I... what the meta is right now? I, I, I have not actually. I've, I've I've kept it purposely though. I, I I looked back at the 2021 Overwatch League games just to see what the last thing that they left off on. Um, if, if anything is like that, they, what what Shanghai Dragons went for a lot, which was like a really good team. They went for just like more maneuverability teams, like lots of dive stuff. So it, <laughs> that that was the last thing I had. It, it, who who do you think who do you think just going off of the the scores and stuff is going to win this match? Ooh, it's it, it's a tough one to call. But there is some information about Dino Nuggies, right? So two of their players, um, that is uh, Skies and Matty, they actually had won um, a Tranquility before. Um, season oh. 8 um, of Tranquility uh, champions in our midst right now. So they maybe have the edge. They know how to take this to the end and get the, the big W, the golden dub. So they might have the edge. I know Nuggies. They have a good name too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, definitely. I don't know. I'm more of a smiley face kind of guy, but um, I guess that might create a war in the potato community. I'm not sure. <laughs> the potato community. I'm. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you can make a meal with any kind of potato. If you, you could, you can combine French fries and Nuggies. Like, oh my god. Yeah. I mean, you could the use the. Fries. You could use the. Well, that's where our languages are going to differ. You say French fries, I'm going to say chips. Uh, oh, snap. Look yeah, at we're that. in EU, okay? <laughs> we bad, say chips bad. here. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you call, like, Lay's, then? Do you call those French fries? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we call those crisps here in the UK. Oh, yeah. chips and crisps. You know, that, that, that's crisps. got a ring to it. Yeah. I mean, I might start. Wait, if you really think about it, chips does make more sense, right? I, no, I see, I see. Because you, you chip a potato, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I, I, I might have some heart for the Dino Nuggies at this point, too, you know? But I, I do want to see how Brig Divers go. I, I don't know about the, the Brigida, but, let you know. <laughs> we haven't, <laughs> I, I haven't seen them yet, so. Well, a lot of teams like to play that Brig Zen at the moment, get that bodyguard on the Zenyatta, so maybe that's what they mean by Brig Divers, or maybe they're just going to send their Brig full force. Uh. Yeah. I'd love to see that. They'll break diving the front line. Mm. Yeah, that could be what we get. And of course, moving on to Elios, uh, a few different maps here, points that offer um, some difference in compositions. Sometimes you see the six man rollout, sometimes you see the brawl rollout. What's, wh where's your mind? What do you think we'll see? Brawl? Well, I, I don't know. What, what, do you know, is this the point we're playing on? Uh, Lighthouse? Um, we'll f find out shortly exactly what we're starting on, but I'm not sure the point. Usually, well, on Lighthouse, it's, it's more of like you, you want to have like a more a bit of a, a dive thing so you can take control of the high ground and you can move around the point more. People don't really sit on the point on this one, but in, in Ruins, Ruins is more of like a, a, a stable kind of kind of map that people play around. So, yeah, like the, with this. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, it, 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 things come down to the EDVD details. It's, it's insane. Yeah. I often get excited when going into runes because sometimes you get those teams that play the long range and I have the Widow, which is a little rarer these days than it used to be, but it is beautiful when you see someone just clicking those heads. You can go all the way to spawn with those shots. It's it's nutty. And the, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've seen tons of just grapple shots and like, I, I guess it could like leave a little open to like a, a dive play kind of for a counter, but again, Ruins is, is harder because like there's so much open space so you can really 
bonus people on. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, of course, Widow eventually would be nerfed, so can't get <laughs> the long, long range oh, shots. True, true. Um, but just on this map, that's like the only map that it actually matters on. Yeah, probably like this and maybe even Junkerton first, probably. Those are probably Junkerton. the only ones. And it will be Lighthouse that we're starting on. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, okay. So, like, one tank going more of a more of a mobile thing. Wait, perhaps. Initiating match. Yeah, let's see. We will find out very shortly what these teams will pick. Um, oh, and a media player. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mario just disconnected. That's, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's going to happen, right? When you're not playing LAN, everyone has their own internet. These things are going to happen. But it's, it's better that the games pause than we keep playing because these teams, we want them to get the best competitive matchup. Um, but or, or now we get to discuss Lighthouse. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Like, it, it, it's, it's, overall, Ilios is a pretty good map. When I... When when you're go if you go into the observer mode and you just like go around the maps, it's it, it's super fun to do if you're listening to music. I, I did that once just to like kind of get myself familiar with the mm -hmm. terrain and stuff. It's dude, I listened to Beethoven's uh, Ninth Symphony on this map wow, and bro. dude, it it melts so well. Wow, Greece. <laughs> that sounds like a real experience. Um, no, it, it really is. Yeah, that's that's a vibe. I will say that. That's a vibe. I might actually try that out. <laughs> no, for sure. If you got some time on your hands. Mm -hmm. oh. Most of my time floating around the maps or as an observer. Um, oh. I, I, yeah, I don't play the game as often. Okay. In yeah. fact, speaking of potatoes, I played on a team called Couch Potatoes. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so. some, some more chips than you did. Oh, absolutely. Um, maybe, that's, maybe that's why I'm feeling Dino Nuggies right now. I'm sure Brick Divers will prove me wrong, but sure. I'm gonna give that starch um, unionization. Exactly. The potatoes gotta unite together. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, it looks like we are getting back, back into it. Oh, yeah. Um, not too long that's, to pause. That's Matty, right? Matt, yeah, Matty is back in. Right. Are you tired? I like these names. Ready for battle. Oh, okay. I would be shocked <laughs> if this is what they come out with. Um, a lot of teams usually just switch it up as a, as this timer runs down. Mm, yeah. I, I'd be I'd be excited to see a Merciana uh, so, so Merciana support do is one of my favorite. I have to say so. Well, it looks like they're teasing. Five, That's what they're coming out four, with here. Three. Two, oh. one, round here we go. One. Capture Let's go. Objective. And right. there we have it. Um, the Genji Echo. That's going to be a fun one to watch out for. Mate looking to control the skies here. Don't put the mercy pocket too. Yeah, that's going to load that extra damage. Here comes the dive in. It's not full engaged, it's a little soft, just testing the wars. Then they get deflected there. That big anti need. Those troubles of the table oh. gonna pack up there. And oh, Aver in the meantime has oh, torn up the backline of Dino Nuggies. And, uh, and that's a little Ash here and Sora to get lots of value from the long range. Despite that, Dino Nuggies are gonna secure the point here. Both teams are bad. Great Divers held that pretty well. They, they had quite the counter attack. They're supposed to be, supposed to be pressing it onward, it looks like. Yeah, Sima Fabrigita on point. That's, that's that Rick Divers uh, that I was talking about. Uh, getting that yeah. big on point, that's what the healing done. Not quite swapped over yet, but that's going to be the Genji of Max moving down. Mate trying to get something done, but it's going to have to back up there. That's pretty steady. Aver held that really phenomenally. I, I couldn't see exactly what went down, but when Dino Nuggies dove in, Divers held that like a beautiful charm. They're just holding this high ground. It looks like they're playing around the Ash more so. And that's going to be really helpful against uh, Matteo, especially. It yeah. even made him swap off of Mercy. Yeah, definitely. As well, of course, you don't get the pocket without the Mercy. You get that Discord orb. There's the dive coming in, but what's happening from it? Big deep dive from Karuma going deep in beneath the back up, but there's a blade from Maxo coming out for oh. the transcendence is going to solve the follow up onto the meanwhile boss from Karuma. And it looks like Brick Divers are holding this one in. 
I think it's the ball. It's the ball kick then, right? Because the maneuverability from ball is like ten times of Winston, and it looks like they're being able to play around the dynamo. Is how divers really want to line them up for those shots and those. I, I guess the brig really is the main the main core of that team. Yeah, Leading definitely. The charge. And with this Bob ready, going to be a robot on point, but that's a big sleep in Anthony. The daily flat. Not going to be too much follow up though, as they're just setting up on this high ground. We've got this prime rage. Rumor goes in deep here. Maybe looking to utilize the primal to get elimination onto the Zenyatta gets the Brig. Meanwhile, those yeah, the Genjis went down there. Not going too amazingly for them. Oh no! I don't know. They just came up on the Echo while Azzy died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate for Mate. But yeah. Break divers are continuing to hold this one in in this extended fight. That's good for them, but very bad for Dino Nogdis as well. The final potential is here at this point, and they've lost their mech. Then coming in here, keeping them alive. And of course, that break healing on point with the rally as well. They doubled it up, but that might give the opportunity to Dino Nogdis to recontest, but no, it won't. <laughs> Okay, wow. What a what a round, dude. Not the break divers had like four all the four to three alts at the end of that fight, like at ninety percent. I don't know if he had like two or three. It was it was the divers really just held their ground footing. Like the uh, being dove against is a hard thing to deal with, but I guess when you have like the DPS and the the wrecking ball especially to help out with putting in the sight lines where they want them to, uh, they could really control how uh, fights ended up falling out. Yeah, definitely. Brick Divers coming out strong here. Uh, could be the Dino Nuggies are just needing to warm up a little. They didn't quite get what they wanted there on Lighthouse. Five, Maybe four, Brick Divers three, just had two, the advantage, but five, Dino Nuggies are actually coming out with this no Stormbjorn. <laughs> Let's go! I wonder how this is gonna go. Yeah, of course, Maxu in the sky again this time as Farah. Getting those long range shots in, poking and prodding, looking to set up an opportunity. Meanwhile, the six man over. Yeah, this is the top of big divers in the six man. Looking to get a hack, and yeah, that's them pushing in deep there. Gets the turret. A lot of environmental things going on, but that is the mech down for Brick Divers as they've pushed into that incredible damage from the Farah. That's a sort of trouble. Meanwhile, forced to hack out of the map. <laughs> He already came up on Mara ult, and this point hasn't even been captured yet. This is bouncing, so divers are gonna actually be prepared for this. <laughs> Let alone the raging downfall of Mafia on Torb. <laughs> and yeah, that's when Dino is on point, holding himself strong here. Uh, that Sombra, not gonna get lots of value, like you said, with that turret existing. But, okay, so it sort of swaps off to Tracer, I guess, to help with the, the tanks diving. Oh, they might try and dive onto Torb because Farah's going to be in the air a lot, but I, don't, I still don't think they were ready for this justice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, your entire support line disappearing in the blink of an eye. That's not good if you're looking to engage there. That's what you get from a good Farah in the sky. You're going to get that lot of damage now. From Raj. <laughs> And that, that's a big stagger, especially on Sombra. He's coming up on e PMP. Speaking, speaking of alts, Dino Nuggies coming up on like 5, while <laughs> Divers are struggling with 3 here. I'm not sure how they're gonna do an ultimate economy here, I'm just falling out. Yeah, lots of eyes on Aver right now to come up big with this EMP. It's the main win condition here for this six man composition. Looking for it, looking to set it up in the back, gets it. Full Essence comes out to go with it, but Kruma's already taking them down in the barrage in the back. Meanwhile, the turret MVP taking Aver down. That Torb is actually doing miracles for Dino Nuggies right now. Uh, and for that turret as well, like, you can see that the uh, Tiny Tiger had to direct to that. Oh no. <laughs> Old stagger, but yeah, they, they're having to do a lot of attention onto this Torb, and that, they're gonna make uh, LH Plat swap off of the Winston for it too. Yeah. It's also the last fight. Yeah, we've not yet seen LH Plat on Brain, uh, like the namesake. Oh, wait, yeah, trying to get something done on this off angle. Oh, red right into a Rotog, not what you want to see. 
Wendell coming up here from Yoshi, looking to uh, supply that damage, and well, finally, flat is huge. That's a big opener. Lots of space now, just taken away from Dino Nugget. Prostitute going in with the clock. It's all madness here. Dude, this far is unstoppable. Oh, <laughs> D-Mech right into the drink as well. Dino Nuggies are making a statesman oh. here on well. Holy. The, the DPS line, uh, as well, okay, so they swapped. Dino Nuggies' full team comp was just a miracle worker for di really disassembling whatever Score. the divers wanted to do. Like, <laughs> divers swapped off to a full dive comp, and trying to replicate what they did on the first point, and dude, Nuggies took full advantage of uh, the giant well in the middle and just like really focusing them down in those like narrow hallways of small areas and with those heavy damage that they can throw down there like with the Torb and you know Maxu. Yeah, definitely. A little bit of a replay here from that domination at the end there. I do love to see Faras in the sky. I mean, anyone <laughs> that's uh, seen me cast, I always talk about how I love Faras. A good Farah is just so enjoyable to watch. They really pulled off that far for sure. That's a sight to see. <laughs> oh, this swaps off to uh, Cassidy. Oh, and there is a Reinhardt on the field. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, and the Rock, Paper, Scissors of Overwatch. Standard Brawl will beat out six man if you rush into that Winston. So Dino Nuggies might have that information and do so. But if they take too long, Ooh. it might not work out. But yo, that's a big pick on the Sora. The Reaper already down. That's all the damage we have gone there for the side of Brick Divers as they're just being hounded now by Kabuma and the rest of Dino Nuggies on this Brawl. Of course, Max, uh, Matty still on the Torbjorn. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, so yeah, Dino Nuggies, uh, overall, in like, my, my years of playing Overwatch, this map has been phenomenal for Reinhardt plays and more of this, like earlier we were talking about, like, Ruin specifically is more of a stable map, and so, okay, yeah, Divers now, they go on to the Reinhardt dealer, so, yeah. I'm doing most of the team, actually. You'd like to see it. Now Elise Platt on that namesake character. Let's see if there's going to be a follow-up onto that. Oh no, the stun! That's that Cassidy. Yeah. I'm going to stun you out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the damage boosted fire strike. 200 damage straight to your face. That's going to be all she wants. They tried to make use of that wall on that first point, but it, it just, it just, it didn't even come crumbling down. Their team came crumbling down before it. That was just way too, the, the ultimate economy from Ethan Nuggies is insane. They already have like four. Divers did have to switch the top, but they guess they'll just try and do a slow to dry push here. At least by, coming down to half at the beginning of these fights is, is going to be crucial. Yeah, it's looking very tough for the Brick Divers, but that's a shot right into a shield. Meanwhile, area controlled by the Torbjorn Ultimate, going to get taken out, so overextended. Bomb set in, but it's the high noon that gets the value, and Max on this cowboy is rolling around. Great shooting. Is that a four? That's phenomenal. Oh my god. Uh, dude, that, that one, like, I think they went May here to try and really like put up a statement to what map that they can control. From the side of Brick Divers, not too much from it yet, pushing them back, working out the immortality field is big, so Max are gonna get the reverse, but that's a huge bomb coming out from the divers. Can they follow up on with the beat is out for Dino Nuggies so keeping them alive? The blizzard will take down the fast piece though. It's scrappy and that's working out for Dino Nuggies on point as they well went out in the victory. Oh, yeah. that, was, that was just fun. Like, if I have to you can. <laughs> oh, then you guys can Yeah, uh, de definitely a uh, very good clash in the beginning. Fairnoggies had us in the beginning. They uh, got Frey taken out in Lighthouse, but once they switched to that Torbjorn, that's when they found the success. Uh, and here's a replay of the moment that Brig Divers looked to be taking it, but uh, it was the turnaround there from Dino Nuggies in the end. But this, this bomb was massive, though. You cannot understate that from B. 
the table. Um, it uh, looks like uh, maybe uh, McMissile is dropped there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, but <coughs> we continue on, right? Uh, we keep going. Uh, McMissile will be back with us. The, the homing technology in McMissile maybe uh, didn't quite work out there for a moment. But it uh, looks like Dino Nuggies are starting this one strong. They didn't seem to do as well when it came to diving. That is where, I guess, Brig Divers get their name, right? Uh, it looks like they're just better here at diving. And therefore, Dino Nuggies are now up 1-0 in this series. It is the best of five, but there is at least four maps played. So if it's a 3-0, there will be a fourth map um, all the way. <clears throat> um, and uh, <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you're here right to get to the bad news. We're going to Anubis next. Yeah, definitely. Um, as, as we go on to Anubis, the question is, in Anubis, can you really play into Brig Diver's um, strong suit, which did seem to be that dive? Um, obviously, you know, 2 CP. Um, say what you will, it still exists. Still got to play it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, maybe not for long, for now, but for we... Now. Yeah, until 20 days, folks. 20 days. <laughs> Ish. Um, Wait, but, yeah. you, got, you, got the, you almost got to pull out the hours. How much was it? Much? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it's in Bill in my I brain. Guess it, it would depend on... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would come down to like who's, who's defending and who's attacking first. Do they, do they get to choose uh, based on the laws? Um, I don't know the exact rules, but generally it is losers choose the map and then the winners choose the side is typically how it's done i don't know if that is the rules though i'm new here <laughs> oh. um, but yes uh dino sure, nuggies no, me too me too hey. yeah dino so. nuggies looking to definitely start this out here with a uh. win against the also undefeated brick divers No, divers are gonna have something to say about that. I don't, Anubis, like I know two CP is two CP, but with more professional teams and communication, you can really you can really wrap it in your favor. The the games I was watching uh, in the twenty twenty one overall was was actually an Anubis game from Shanghai and Dynasty, and um what the, what what both teams were kind of doing what um one of the, the Shang Dynasty was playing a more divey team trying to play to a the Shanghai strong suit. But what Shanghai did was actually use an Orisa instead of a Reinhardt on defense to kind of almost bait the dives because Orisa is a little bit unkillable with that, that fortify and like the, the mobility. Mm -hmm. So uh, diving works and doesn't work on Anubis. We'll, we'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah, um, that, <laughs> that, that, that'll be interesting to see if that's what we get on Anubis for sure. Uh, of course, break divers need to uh, watch out for getting sweet here by those starchy dinos um and uh, hopefully you know we don't see any classic <laughs> 2cp moments of a snowball or um a, i once casted a six minute fight on point um uh, hopefully none of this occurs <laughs> um, holy yeah that was not fun <laughs> that, that's a heater oh yeah uh, i mean uh, while you're doing that you might as well make yourself some some popcorn yeah right. In fact, I have some here on my like, desk. No, this is crazy. So like, no. <laughs> if if things start getting slow, just 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 start chomping away. But 
No, I think divers can actually just pull this back because again, like these two, these two teams have something to say. They've got two wins underneath their belt, so uh, divers. What they might, well, I I don't know a lot about the team, so I just have that map to go off of. But it looks like they can play both the Reinhardt and the dive pretty pretty well. So again, playing around what map that they can control from the Nuggies is gonna gonna see see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're we're, we're waiting. Um, just to just to get the players because we play when the players are ready. Um, there is a pause at the moment. It's uh, oh, of course, of course. Yes, there is a pause. Um, getting a little look into the team here. Uh, looks like it's actually um someone from Dino Nuggies again. It's Matty. Um, although it's being unpaused. I, I mean, I just disconnected. Oh, nice. I, I I disconnected earlier, so me me and Maddie are we're we're going through it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, are we are we are we back in? Oh, interesting. Initiating match. Um. Yeah. Well, it looks like oh, we are. Out. It looks like we're we're in here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Matty is no longer on the side of Dino Nuggies, who are now on the left of your screen. <clears throat> okay, so ready for battle. And yes, we there see okay. more um Torb okay. Yarn coming out from Dino Nuggies. Um we might be having some production issues, folks. Um, but that's all right. I've never seen this. That's torb. Yeah, you're right. Uh, this is a lot of torb yarn. I've seen some teams that one that's trick okay. the torb. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty chad move. Going Ursa. Okay, well, they're going to be. Okay, yeah. The, Ursa is what I was talking about earlier on defense, and Ursa and Torb are kind of both, both, uh, sim similar in that in that kind of aspect. They're really playing to his strengths. Yeah, definitely. Just looking to set up here as they are just gearing for that initial dive in with that double bubble set up here. Here we go. Just looking to build this nano, not going in too deep. That's what this composition is really all about. Your winning condition is, of course, the nano from the Anna. At least Pratt needs to watch that they don't lose all their health, though, as they get spammed away. But holding in strong for now, Dino Nuggies, as the Anna percentage is at 60. I think I kind of have like the same burst here yeah, as you will on the defense. So defense, like playing around their DMs or where they can do in a very small amount of time. Well, the turn. Yeah, that was a nice uh, little fight win there for the Dino Nuggies. The turret coming up big again. Uh, you you don't expect it, right? When you're playing in Overwatch, it's quite really the end. Yeah, you don't expect it at all. Here's the Nano and Gates though coming really flat. Gonna not get too much, like you say. All of it going into that Caressa, who can really just stay up doing it. Meanwhile, though, there goes that Torbjorn that we've been hyping up so much. Meanwhile. Ruma finding the pick with the Racer. Staging for continuing as they push in. Trying to get something done here are the Brick Divers, but that's a whole lot of damage coming through that window. But the grab is huge. They are able to fall. So much damage. Very nicely done from the table. <laughs> I, on the defense there, it, 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 you could see that they did try and like make their moves in the small amount of time that they could, and they even used up the window there, but it, it seemed like they couldn't really get to exactly where they wanted to go on that point for a successful pull, and the, the table really, really stood out to the ground in a, in a punishing way for that. Definitely. Now, looking to set up here onto second. They don't have that nano yet, but they have the primal. They can go deep that if they so wish. Looking for this pulse bomb on the side, but there goes the duplicate. Choosing the arrestor, that's a lot of health that you've gotten there. Not all the health because it's counted 300. 
That's a nice shot there from Maxiv. With the high moon, looking to hold this one in for Dino Nuggies. Well, shields are on the point. That was a, that was a pretty sharp hold. They, they, making that Sigma swap was pretty crucial in this, too. Like, you, you, having more shields that the, it, it kind of denies where the Zarya, and most the, specifically the Ana, where, where they get to really set up and uh, support the rest of the team for an attack. And uh, <laughs> Mooksu just quickly just, yeah, ma Max is out. Just, Shooting away. Yeah. Now they have this nano, they can get that engaged in. They also have the rally to use later into that fight as well. As Aver's just spamming down mid, but they will be on the left. There's that nano engaged there, but the rally from Prostitute is going to stop a lot of that follow up. Meanwhile, it's actually the Molten Core getting the value against the brick and the table. Yoshi coming up back there with that <laughs> ultimate. Wow. I mean, I mean, Tor Torb on defense for the second point. You, uh, I've never seen the goo just. <laughs> that, that was that was absolute death. It even makes Aver swap to a Hanzo. It looks like they're gonna try and deal with the, the Torb from more of a range before that, uh, the rest of the tanks have more of a presence that they can set up. Max on the Ash as well. Uh, it's more of a the DPS are trying to make some range between themselves here. The rally coming in the tiny tiger, looking to set the team up, but nothing as of yet. The dive has kind of found nothing so far. That's allowing the DPS lineup of Dino Nuggets to hold in on this defense. Yoshi getting the pick onto the Brigitte as well. This is not working out in second point for them. I mean, no, <laughs> it, it, it's, see, the, the thing that, like, okay, so this is what the Shang, uh, the Dynasty were trying to do. They ran, actually, a Winston Zarya, <laughs> the, uh, lots of similarities, but they, they ran a Winston Zarya on attack, and for the longest time, they, uh, like, it, it was working pretty well, but what I, what I had to say is that, like, having a Winston on that second point is, it's going to be extremely hard to really take advantage of if, if, if like, if, if it doesn't get immediate value. Right, so having having the tracer to help out is really going to be crucial. Like double bubble is important. I think taking Thank care of the sick was just important. Coming in, that's going to be an opener here for this fight. Yoshi though, <laughs> getting all of the follow up. You love to see it. The Torbjorn working out great for them. It's not even the same player, I don't think. I I, I believe it was not Yoshi last time. I believe Yoshi was actually on the Baptiste. Uh, so it looks like a lot of these players can actually play that orb. Which is unseen. Yo, coming at you. Um, yeah. Uh, setting this defense up, they're looking pretty good. They've got this bongo and rally ready here but pushing forward now with the Reinhardt that's a lot of damage right in the face of the defense but Frost is getting that whip shot onto Sora that's gonna open it up but Ellie's flat taking the room down meanwhile Maxu has just stepped up to the plate as the Ash and wipe the board of course the boss getting lots of value i like to call him robert when he does a good job that's very good for the side of dino nuggies very rough though for the attacking team they've got 30 seconds it's final fight time we will see overtime here it's just a matter of if the brick divers can get what they need to get done they've got the dragon here they have the shatter ready as they push forward on this left side, trying to evade as much of the spam as they can. Pool comes in with the rock, doesn't find anything. But here comes this rush of the brawl. There's a shatter right into the dragon. They coordinated it so well. Brick Diver is looking very good on the brawl here on the attack. Yakto is still alive, throws in the dynamite. Aver wants to go for them, but doesn't want to throw himself away for it. And that is going to be an overtime cap there for Brick Divers. They got it in the end, but Score. it is during overtime. To two. Switching sides. And um, again, it looks like Quick Styles' um, heat seeking capabilities have um, faltered again. 
Um, darn that technology. Uh, <laughs> um, usually I'm cursed with it, so um, it's nice to not be the one that's cursed with it. Uh, here's a replay here of this rotation. Now you might get to see this shatter as well. I think maybe it took a little long to switch to the brawl there is probably what I'd say. Because it really worked out for him. Look at this shatter into the dragon. It's very nicely coordinated where it will be going. Um, to land that shatter and the dragon. It's not the easiest thing to coordinate. It's not like a grav where you can listen in to exactly where the grav took place. But now though, it is the dino nuggies on the attack. Looking to get a better time than their opponent's. If they get over one minute, then they deny that second attempt there from the Brig Divers. So that's what you're looking at here. And they're teasing coming out with this Genji Echo again. Didn't work well for them on Lighthouse. Though. Attackers incoming. Defend objective. Yep. Now just staging again. It's a double bubble, so you're gonna see them try and build up both the charge of the Zarya and the nano of the Anna. Why, really, if you're on the defense, you don't want to be shooting the monkey, kind of um, leaving them alone sometimes is the better choice. Null though, already 50% to the nano as they're just slowly building this one up. They have lost their Zarya already to LH plant. Just waiting for this nano. Very patient, but of course this allows the defense to build their own ultimates as well as um, Zhao Noi now up to this amp field here, the amp matrix. 86% to the nano as the spam comes through. Playing with the D.Va as the offense of the defense to get that maneuverability and the ability to eat up some of the spam and the ultimates. And already, Bruma staging to go in. There's the Nano engaged there right onto the back line. The immortality feels the fame of this push so far. The turret is going to go down to its own shot. Deep black. Pushing in from the flank caver on the high ground. Yeah, that's going to spam down Maxus or getting the value there. And Dinoogies are kind of in no man's land right now. They're not getting what they want to be done. It's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel right now for the defense of Rick Divers. And again, they've been able to hold in, not use this amp matrix as they have it again. Um, and they have plenty in the board. Late though, on the opposing side, they can damage boost it, but that's pretty much all they can do to support it here. Unless Yoshi gets a good grip of it. That Matrix coming out. That's a lot of damage. It's double damage through that. Oh, the stun onto the pile drive. That's not what Karuma wants to see. They want to be building this ultimate, but they're not getting in to do so as they're setting up the spring in again. There goes the pile drive right into the blades. That was a nice coordination. The tank trying to PPS and it's getting the mega value. You see that damage boost from Frost as well. Like I said, that's the core way that they can support it. They does not have the nano. Very nicely done. Bomb coming out with the defense. It's going to find Axel. As Aver is just getting so much value on this high ground, but I think they're being found out right now. Rumor needs to back up. <laughs> Aver just costing so much time from Karuma to the point where this attack might not go through for Dino Nuggies. Uh, this could have been completely halted here, and if they had to use their blade for it, that's an issue. And Yoshi is going to swap to the Ash now. Gonna go for more of that poke and prod with that sniper. And oh, Maxu onto the Farah. Could be a nice choice. Aver's been doing well though. The head scan that is of Frick Divers as they push forth. Rez coming into Maxu who just got taken down. That's a big resource out already. Farah coming in. Has been nanoed. Gonna force out the immortality field, but that's about it. The follow-up not quite there yet, but Aver caught on that flank. 
Eber has kept doing now flanking finally got caught out for doing it again. That's a nice window going to take the max out, but it looks like they don't know the final stages here of this first point attack. They have momentum here moving forward, but they need to take down the tank line. It's still up. That's a very brave res there from Frost to shoot. Works out with the anti nade of null. Ruma sending to win it here in the center of point. Looks like they don't know are going to be able to secure this one despite <laughs> if a disaster does occur. As the players of the defense just going to prickly. Defense don't have the best setup right now. A few of them swap to touch. That does mean that a lot of these ults are at 0%. This could be a snowball opportunity for the attacking team who has the barrage. Maxu gonna go a little low, but stays up. Oh, no, gets followed up. They might wanna go for that res. Meanwhile, Bruma has dived in alone. That's a little rough, maybe a bit of a miscommunication there. You don't really wanna be full sending it alone. That's gonna delay the Dino Nuggies on their attack. It's basically gonna secure the fact that there's not gonna be a snowball. I guess you could say it's been melted away. Take your medicine. That's it. Are you, are you with us? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Axel coming in with the bomb. It's huge. This is a big setup here, and it works out wonders for the side of Dino Nuggies. Looking to finish this one before that one minute mark that will allow them to get a second attack and all their opponents. Here comes Robert. He's not quite on the point, or now he is due to a boop, and that's going to be a 139 mark there for the Dino Nuggies, and that will deny that second attack. Initiating match. Hello. What? Yes, you you've you've returned to us. Oh wait, oh you can hear me? Yes, I, I believe oh. we, we got that word in there. <laughs> oh thank you, thank thank the Lord. Okay, I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that man. All right. Well it's that was not that was definitely not a boring Anubis match to say the least. Mmm, definitely. There's some risky reses I heard about. Okay. And still the tour. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I did miss a lot. I don't, I don't really have a right to say much, so. Yeah. I mean, you pointed out some risky reses. Yeah, Frostitude has been in there. Um, I've casted Frostitude quite a few times. I've even casted with Frostitude. Uh, always goes for those brave reses, that's for sure. And it works out when you're coordinating it with your team. And, that, uh, that is beautiful. I, I, I am a Mercy main, so I, I, I gotta love that. Oh, it looks like they're gonna actually mirror that. A, a little Mercy pick. It does work It does work really well on 2CP, because when people get picked uh, off in rough places, the map really benefits you, specifically on Anubis, to like, kind of, kind of, kind of cover you. Definitely. And when your opponents only need one tech on the point, it's gonna be very useful. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're going to Oh! Be yeah, yeah, Rissa on the mark here. It's gonna be the Ash of Aver getting Yoshi immediately. Uh, bad start for the Dino Nuggies, but what they really want to be doing is building up as many ultimates as fast as they can. They haven't even gone for the Ana here. Oh, oh, Ball's gonna set up to try and set a flank on them so they can push in with it. If pushing in with the Sigma is gonna be a little bit slower, so trying to find a pick, I guess. Yeah, and this flank of Dino Nuggies can be a little risky as there's only two players there, but it's being heavily respected right now by the defense. Maybe not falling for the bait. Although Immortality Field has been used from the defense, Grumman in the back oh, of Yoshi. They're really trying to take that high ground away from them. Have something to dive off from. They're trying to they're trying to escort their Sigma in just the point, but they've all fallen off. Oh, it's the turret getting Yoshi, and that's a huge dynamite. Bada bing, oh, bada wow. boom from Aver right there. <laughs> and that's dude. gonna be the top getting follow up. These DPS getting. Like, what what value, dude? This, this, I've never seen Torb yet. This is, this, is, this is broadening my eyes, expanding the horizon right now. 
But coming up on alts as well. Yes, this is gonna be a big fight coming up immediately with this Ampwendo. That's what you like to see with Aver just controlling the map right now from the high ground. Outstanding DPS already. And there you have it, folks. It's not it's not flashy, it's a draw. Oh, I mean, it was some something to say that is a little flash. I mean, getting getting almost like five alls in just a minute and thirty seconds, right? To to get one tick, and I, I could see what the what Dino Nuggets were trying to do. They were trying to escort in their Sigma. They were trying to like take away the control of the map. Oh, it's not just a little play of the game. Oh, a beautiful flank. Oh, that's the grab. That's the grab. So I, I didn't know on the, on the first push how they how they tried to make use of where they could move in that little amount of time. It looks like the echo actually came up and uh, siphoned off the rest of the team. But uh, on this on this last push for this for this uh, one tick, uh, they tried to take off the they, they tried to take off the high gun, which they I, I get you can do, but you can only do it with one tank. And what they try to do is split off so that way they don't have a Winston or, or like two dives going onto the Orisa because they knew that the, the, it wasn't really working against Orisa Torbon defense, but. So that's why they tried to switch off to something a little bit more uh, sturdy on the ground, but they couldn't ever get them off to the ground. That's why they were trying to take the high ground, and make it a fight. But uh, <laughs> you, you could see you could see what uh, they had to say about that. Yeah, um, uh, big draw there. Um, that means brick divers they're still in it. This could be the turning tide. This could be the balancing pin um between this but we are going to go for a break now as we're kind of halfway through this matchup so don't go anywhere folks do not change the channel as the rest of the series will continue in five to ten minutes
And welcome back to Tranquility EU Harmony. But there's anything but harmony between these teams. That is fight night between them. And with that draw just there and Dino Nuggies still in the lead, it's 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 gonna be deep within Brick Divers to bring this one back if I because of how it works here in Tranquility. Mm. <laughs> just how it works, yeah. Basically, and uh, we're going to be playing on King's Row as well, which is honestly, what do you, what do you think of King's Row being a being from a the the EU representation? I mean, EU team plays brawl. That's like the two things that work most within the universe together, right? <laughs> so uh, it's called Scrim's Row. Um, every, every Scrim Scrim's night Row. I've ever casted has had King's Row um, or Li Zhang. Uh, Beautiful. It, I mean, it's uh, the King classic one, right? King's Row is actually my favorite map of Overwatch. Um, like in Overwatch 2, I saw that they changed the lighting, which I kind of don't like. The, I, I, the, the nighttime King's Row is just, there's something scandalous to it when you're running around with like a Lucio with a Reinhardt, you're running through the streets rampantly. I don't know, there, there's just something to it. So, uh, <laughs> we, we, yeah. do, you, do, do you have teams been playing uh, Lucio on this map so far? Um, I would be shocked if they ran a brawl and didn't have it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, so I imagine, yes, teams will have played Lucio for sure. This, all right, nice. This will this will this will definitely. Just, I, I assume it's going to be a heater, given both teams play a player play a Reinhardt pretty well. It seems. See some yeah. sh some some shadows blocked on that first map. I I, I I do love me some Rhine on Rhines for sure. Oh me! Oh my! Me too, man. How's you? <laughs> who do you? Who do you main? Uh, back when I played, I was the main tank of Couch Potatoes. I mentioned that before. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I was a monkey and Reinhardt player, so uh, it does oh. warm my heart to see some Reinhardt and monkeys. Beautiful. That's. I I, I play I play a stellar Rhine myself. I, I if I do say so myself. So, th this really will just be a a, a king's row. <laughs> oh yeah. For sure, I'm um, looking forward to it. And yeah, of course, when Ball became meta, that's when I became not meta as a person. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why there I cast go. these and I don't play these. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, 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 it's all part of the plan. All right, awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Bring out the May, too. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, you do classically see me there, uh, just to cut off the Reinhardt from the rest of the team, or anyone who's in a position and collapse onto them. That may well be a very good space creation tool. That may that may mean they're they're going to play on this 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 choke this front choke really really hard here because they can with it with if you build up a bap window in time as well you get a really good angle just dishing out the constant damage and you got the Lucio to kind of move around with the May. So this is. Oh, okay, Brig Divers with the Hanzo as well. They're going to try and have some range between them. Probably already for CMA, so. Yeah, swapping to that May, Ava oh. on it. Now they're just waiting to be fully grouped here before they push in, kind of staging. They're going to go far right on the statue here. And the walls are up, nothing gets too much value. Uh, bottle weak table has found Matty, wow. that's huge here. Pushing in deep here with this brawl, without that May, there's, there's not that freeze. You can freely swing now as the Reinhardt, you see them con completely controlling the point. And with these exit pits, picks, I don't think there's going to be any reposts here. That was phenomenally fast, almost 40 seconds for a capture. I think they, they, they punished onto the May really fast, couldn't even like let her into an iceberg really it seemed like. Uh, uh, <laughs> they're certainly knowing how to, how to rush their way through this point. Yeah, no that, time. yeah, that's our first point held up. They're looking to hold in deep here on the defense. Yeah, they're holding all the way to choke. Oh, the break, the break divers do have this back window though. This is a really good spot to use. So I don't think Nuggies are going to actually be uh, foreseeing this, yeah. Oh, big charge deep into the team. That could be an issue though for the charge on the charger. And yeah, this wall has put so much issue. Shadow comes out, doesn't find too much, but the window comes up also. It's a messy, scrappy oh, wow. fight, but it's the side of oh. Brick Divers oh. getting all that value of the Blizzard. Holy. 
I mean, that was just phenomenally played from divers. Opening out with the window and then the, the Reinhardt plays was just just really carried out the rest of the fight. Nuggies trying to trying to hold this down, but that that was a really awkward position for the for uh, Nuggies to hold in once you got that horizontal push coming in from the divers. Yeah, now they're looking strong. High noon to try and force them to not even touch here. But they have rotated round on their left. Oh. But Matty again, a first pick onto the May. It's not what you want to be seeing this often. Bomb is actually going to get caught up on that highway there. Not going to get too much from it. It's going to be the high noon from the defense though. Of oh, the yeah, no Lucio means no speed. You could be stuck and turtled. Here comes the push from Karuma who's got the shatter. Pressuring out the attacking team. All oh, direct divers. But oh, the remake. <laughs> Oh my god, wow. Divers really just- that, that was a really good ride, ride on ride performance right there too. It's trying to just keeping your shield up from that shatter. Just really keeping your team in strong- Oh, the a blizzard! Yeah, uh, the blizzard really didn't amount to a whole lot there. As they got the point already. Five minutes on the board for third. Brick divers are coming in strong. Brick di- wow, well, yeah. <laughs> And with another window too, they've been getting these first picks on the way. Oh wow. Yeah, nice shatter combination there of the team. It's all about that team play. Watch yourself next to that pet. You don't want to get booped. Of course, that steadfast going to come in big time, but Karuma taken out anyway, a little overextended. Now the defense absolutely collapsing to this window from uh, Chao Noi? I say so. Chao Noi? Choi Noi? Choi Noi? Choi Noi? I, I, I guess I would just say try now. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get a complaint later, I guess. Oh, the Bap Jewel! <laughs> it's going oh, wow. off with oh, the Bap Jewel! No, gonna get the differential! <laughs> that was beautiful. That was. That's actually gonna allow the team, inspire the team, to defend here for Dino Nuggies <laughs> as their Baptiste cements their strength. I mean, that that window has been uh, quite the thorn for Nuggies, so to so to finally knock out that map is definitely a, a valid inspiration. I mean, heck, oh, Diver's coming up on like three alts, so uh, beat uh, Lucio's beat a, a very key one in this one as well. Gonna be able to keep them all up against uh, whatever may may throw at them if they don't get the first pick right away. Then Nuggies getting their mech back just in time. High noon coming out. Tried to wall it off, didn't quite get it, but here is the bomb trying to create some space. And it is going to be the beat coming out to protect the team. Tiny Tiger very deep, but oh. Ellie Flat is getting the value from it, getting that speed into the backline, swinging hard. Those big meaty fuds of the Reinhardt Hammer dealing that damage. Now it's null left, but that's going to be taken down. Can anybody touch here? Switch to the ball, but no. That's a healthy time bank. Absolutely. I mean, you, you you could call your team Brig Divers, but when you when you got Tiny Tiger pushing that aggressive, I mean, <laughs> that that's that's a Lucio Diver right there. That, dude, that was just really really well played from them. I like, I I don't, I don't actually see how the Nuggies could really work around such a such an aggressiveness. Like they did try using the Maywalls to try and like at least slow them down, but yeah, just <laughs> when you when you got a Lucio in your back lines, just, you can't really freeze them. Especially when, oh my god, Brig Divers has such a focus on eliminating the other May, and I think that's really the biggest, uh, the, the big themes from these two teams so far. Mm, definitely, like, getting your May picked early is very, very tough. Especially if the enemy team is also playing the May, which they are, that just gives them so much advantage because, yes, the wall, that's a big thing, but mm -hmm. also just the core freezing because that means the opposing Reinhardt if they swing for long they're not going to get frozen for it so exactly. unless they're unless they're taking too much damage that rain has free swing may, may, is, may is definitely the crucial part when there's a lucio as, as well in the <laughs> being around everybody hammer coming at you uh, if, it, if it already comes at you at 80 miles an hour having 160 is not going to be a, a thing <laughs> that you can really slow down Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's oh. going to be the test for the attack of Dino Nuggies here. It's a big time bank to beat. What's that? They brought back your Farah instead of a May. Oh, I do like to see it. I don't think they're fully committing yet. Oh, no, they will. They got that Mercy. Yeah, Looks no. like they're trying to find an opening. 
Yeah, now with this um, ball composition here with the far mercy, it's going to be really tough for the Reinhardt of Brick Divers because there's so many angles going to be played here and you can only put your shield in one direction. That's the big weakness of Reinhardt here. But Baptiste taking a lot of damage, 470 immortality field oh, with nothing so but just the neutral. These discords are going to be crucial, I think. The discords and damage boost, the support lineup from Nuggies is really going to help the tanks uh, finding a fix here, as well as we're making a room for uh, the DPS to make some picks. Oh, but the Hansel on the flank. Oh yeah, looking for those flick shots. Not easy to hit flying characters with the projectiles, but it's a fair attempt. And that's a nice pick onto the ball. That's going to free up some space for the defense here to play about with. Does still need to watch for the dual angles of the core. But Null went a little low and the table is flipped here for this fight. A, a, a pick onto the Zen seems crucial. I'm not sure they can actually roast this. They're gonna, or they should back out from it. Losing one of your supports in such a, such a, in a, in a tank, li in, a, in a lineup with no shields against a team such as Brig Divers. Not even just their comp, but just the way that their team is. Like, you're gonna need all the healing and most importantly, all the damage amplification that you can get. Oh, that's a stagger. Yeah, that's a tough situation. Dino Nuggies are stuck in it. This Hansel pick has worked out really well for the defense. Oh no! Losing your Reinhardt is no small matter. We've been talking about Reinhardt's this whole game and now he's all on. So, they're, gonna, they're actually just going to make a push off that right away. Yeah. Robber on the point here. High noon though. Oh, the E was huge! From oh. Axel there. To stop that from getting any value, I think that would have gotten the far mercy possibly. Transcendence coming out here to keep the team alive on this push. And then there comes the barrage, that's a lot of damage. That's a Q party up in the point as the bomb comes in as well. And Axel is being a superstar here for Dino Nuggies. That was phenomenal play. Lots of lots of team nuggies with their comp was, was really uh, reflected out with with uh, with those plays and those highlights right there. Uh, most of the team is really based around utility right now, so they did forfeit the May. But with that, they granted lots of uh, ways to really not not just slow down the divers, but more so kind of put them where they like punish them all of where they already are. Take taking advantage of the positions that divers give themselves. If they try and dive into the team, you can not only disperse, but you can go up, you can even make your way behind them and really uh, get some discords onto them, get some damage boosts. Oh, maybe not damage boosts anymore, but. Oh yeah, sky flower, more like a six foot under flower right now, uh, taking the quick way back to spawn. Uh, oh, here's a healthy rotation right to the face of the flying character, <laughs> and that's going to take them Matty nice and quick. You know, I was just talking about the, the maneuverability of Nuggies, I and mean, they just freaking go up from the high ground. That was always phenomenal, and they're going to get rewarded for that. They yeah, got a tracer too. It's worked out well. We're going to play Farah. There's a few things you expect, like they're going to pick hit scan, they're going to try and shoot me this guy. You don't expect a Reinhardt to meet you in this guy. I can Absolutely. imagine it was a bit of a jump scare. Oh my god, the whole team coming out with him too. That was that was really well coordinated. With, with, uh, both teams coming up on alt now, like, hmm. I, I guess they're going to see where they can place this justice, because on this second plane it's phenomenal. Oh, that's a great pick. Uh, make it even, but with these all these rubes and stuff, you can really uh, be safe with where you justice. It's all about a matter of time. Ooh, and there's oh. that window. That damage through the window is going to take Maxu down. And constantly, the Baptiste of Brick Divers. Uh, I'm probably pronounced your name five different ways, by the way, so I apologize, but I'm going to try again. Chao Noi has been a superstar support player for Brick Divers today. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Nuggies immediately actually swap him to that Baptiste to try and get that mirror matchup once again. I mean, th these windows have been not only been coming at clutch, but the immortality fields are really preventing uh, Nuggies Mazo from getting lo Max out from getting lots of value. Especially when the, the side lands are covered from the Ash. Trying to break it. Oh. Oh, so there's the barrage. The, the High Noon gonna catch them though. Robert gonna follow up onto Cassidy. Pulse bomb in the middle of it, gonna take Null down. That's a lot of the healing gone for Dino Nuggies. It's a big scrap in the library. You're not meant to be very loud in there. But no eliminations from that scrap. Still have Aver in the back line to contend with. Well, that's a nice stagger onto the Baptiste. It, it's it's more of a signal. It's, a, it's more of a message. They did they did swap off 
of the fire to Genshi, which is a really good play. Genshi is phenomenal on this map, especially when you've got oh, nice dagger. Or especially when you've got the Ash sightlines uh, really supporting him. In that last fight, it was kind of a missed mashup, but it was actually pretty even. But with the Bob thrown in there, that really helped. Like you could see, um, the it, it covered the justice happening, even though the uh, fire did end up falling. Oh. oh, the remake as well from Axel to the opposing Diva. Talk about a differential there. Now, they're not going to get the time bank um, to the same size that Brick Divers got, but this is definitely nothing to shrug at. As long as you're over a minute, you're good in my books. <laughs> I mean, I mean King's Row, it's, it's, it's quite the map to push. And with with a with a Shatter coming up here, they, uh, the Divers does not actually have one right now. So as long as... Hmm, I think... Playing around where the Genji can dive in and making use of where you can help with that. Oh, Very sweet shatter coming out from Karuma and with the Wendell as well, that's so much damage onto the follow-up. And it might be a makeshift comp, a bit of a bit of brawl, a bit of dive, a bit of poke, but we have everything we need to get this done. 90 seconds on the board. The team trying to touch now. Brick Divers trying to keep it alive, but the DPS gonna keep them in the spawn. Beat though is gonna keep them alive for now. Tiny Tiger just trying to stay on the point. The Shatter could turn this around. Illy's flat getting a big Shatter, but here comes the Blade. This could turn it around. It's very back and forth. I just gonna go down in the ball. Oh. oh my lord! It's huge. <laughs> so, they're making plays. Yeah, this point has still not been capped. They, oh. They've had a tracer on the point for maybe like 10 seconds, unable to deal with it. Now people coming back like the ball. If they get them to zero seconds, that's terrible for Dino Nuggets. So they really need to close this one up as Matty is just firing freely on the high ground. I think finally, yeah, we're going to clear it up. That was a phenomenal uh, stall from Divers, actually making them under a minute, I believe. And then freaking okay, so that was actually really a, a really wise comp from from Nuggies. Like it, it it was a little scrappy as he said, but it, it did it was completely uh, for the sake of just getting work done. The certain utilities taking advantage more so of where the divers are rather than trying to force them in a certain spot and just taking advantage of what you can from what's given. That, and you can really see how well that was rewarded, especially with uh, the, the the diva of Nuggies. That was phenomenal. Not only the raw kills and the DMs, but the remix as well, uh, taking advantage of uh, whether they're pushing forward or pushing back. This last fight, yeah. Yeah, that last fight was just huge. I mean, not only was the blade big, but the bomb was. The fact that they didn't secure it there is just, it goes to show how well, like you said, uh, staggered the respawns were. Um, not, not, because if you touch all at once, right, and you get wiped, then that's, that's it, it's all over. But if you come in one by one, like they did Don't there, um, it was going to work out better for you. Divers, especially swapping, so early, they they recognized that they were getting staggered. They recognized that they weren't going to have a full team fight, so it, it really they they almost had that like pre time of just switching and taking advantage of like the doom. They they're on widow uh, before tracer as well. They they try to they try to get a cheeky little pick before uh, any anyone could really notice what they were doing, but they they did end up succeeding in what they wanted to do. Yes. And it's going around a long way off statue. Although Brick Divers, they were holding back there, expecting a possible Clara again, but with this Reaper, that's a lot of damage up close. They forced him off a point, but Matty Ooh. is gonna get taken out there. And this is tough. You gotta think, do we commit or do we just get it over with and, and um, get ourselves eliminated? Because 30 seconds on the board here, it's do or die. That's true. And with a DMEC, you're gonna have to regroup. After after losing Reaper, you do still have a chance because Genji is most of, mostly a shotgun character anyway with those bursts and damages. But oh, Diver's already coming up on a pulse bomb for Tracer. I don't think they're actually gonna be ready for that. Although a good pick, on, a good pick on the Diva, but really. <laughs> oh no, he was the elimination. But on the other side, the back of the opposing team gonna get their window up first. But no, LH. Wow, oh, wow, outstanding fire strike, 200 damage, gonna burn you up real quick. Here comes in the tanks of Dino Nuggies, but it's pretty much all she wrote here for this attack. They got a little bit through, but they did not get a tick in the end. That's unfortunate for them, as they're just trying to keep it alive, trying to touch. They've got the beat, but really, it's all she wrote here. Brick Divers have a massive opportunity to get 
uh, this series equalized. <laughs> that was that was a phenomenal fire strike. I did not see that window coming. I, I, something about the coordination between that 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 Baptiste. You said earlier that how 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 important this. Uh, I, I, I don't even want to try and say his name anymore. <laughs> uh, Baptiste is really just making quite the. Ch Ch no, <laughs> no, he's been ever since that diff on that last point from that first round, all the way to now. These windows back and forth, the immortalities have, which in the positions and the time specifically, the the damage this guy outputs is ungodly. Like I'm sure the healing is also phenomenal, but lots of the healing can just be given off to that other support, right? As long as you're moving around fast enough, it's it's hard of it's hard to really uh <laughs> really hard to get hit as long as you're dealing enough damage. It is called support. Yeah, and you know what? What usually separates the Baptiste players from each other it, it isn't the healing output, like you say. It's the DPS output. It's the eliminations they can find, the damage that they can output. Uh, of course, many Babs have good rhythms in terms of. You know, some do three seconds of shooting, three seconds of healing. Some do three oh. healing shots. Some do. There's different like rhythms that I know some Babs players play with, but it'll be interesting to see. Three minutes on the board, can Dino Hut and Nuggies hold this one in? They're going Reaper and um, they, they went Cassidy instead of the Genji here, so they're taking more advantage of the defense and the things are given. Oh, the May pick though, it hasn't been here for a while. Yeah, but if you overextend <laughs> like that... Oh, Ellie's bad though, equalized it. This is still a fight here to be won by either team. Immortality Fields out to defend the Reinhardts from getting the long spawn back. It's like they're still holding it. Yeah, oh, the windows go. Oh, the oh. table opening up, and wow. there's an immediate window. That was a 35 second window there from Chao Noi or Cho Noi. <laughs> Everybody Chow pronounced Noi. the name like if we we're starting to talk about an MVP. <laughs> oh, dude, this this guy for sure, for sure. I mean, <laughs> that that was exceptional. Not only what like it, it, not only is his, his solo play phenomenal, but the way that it works with his DPS, they they all know where the, where his windows are gonna go. They all know where his shots are gonna go. They all know how to play around his immortality. And I think just that synergy with that Baptiste, just by oh wow, yeah, that was huge. Massive stuff. Massive stuff, and now it's it's equalized, right? It's um, Brick Divers one, Dino Nuggies one, and mm. with that draw, um, I I believe we play four maps. So I think so. So the next one decides it. Um, I I said best of five earlier. I think I misspoke there. I I, I again I'm new here, so uh, please be <laughs> nice. Um, I believe the next one decides it, and between these teams who are both currently undefeated. Uh, it, it, it really will show for the rest of Harmony which of these teams might be the one to take it in the end. So far, do you, so far, uh, these two teams are pretty strong in exactly what they do, and how they meet up about it is is something like it, it's coming down to each player of the team here. We're, we're, we kind of got the huge spectating spotlight on the supports now, and like it was kind of the sports. Uh, not only highlighting themselves, but really highlighting the rest of the team and how they go about doing things. Like with Dino, uh, like a uh, Brig divers. The, 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 I mean, the name is in the title, right? Brig as mm -hmm. a support. Like uh, what I, what I, what I initially thought of is it was kind of more of a, a heavy kind of push, more of a, a dense kind of. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking at these potatoes. <laughs> but uh, no, the, 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 these teams like. The, the synergies and not only just where, like the Lucios for both teams, I think, is also a key factor. Like, not, Baptiste was more of a, a map specific kind of thing, but the Lucios for both teams has been consistently like directing where not only where everybody goes, but also kind of splitting off the team and doing like some more aggressive plays with just certain members, really highlighting they, they, they highlight different roles when they want them to. And I think that's seeing how that's going to come down in Gibraltar is going to be. Uh, a pretty a pretty fair assessment of how both teams are going to end today. I was I was prepping to talk about Junker Town, but um, teams changed yeah, their mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gibraltar's fun. Um, I do like Gibraltar. Lots of high ground. You're going to be seeing dives. Um, mm -hmm. I've um, 
I've casted some scrims where teams try to play the something that isn't dive. You see spam sometimes in defense and it never really works out. I have seen some teams attempt brawl and it doesn't really work out. So uh, I would expect dive for sure. And if we're talking about dive, which team has had the better end of the dive so far? It has been Brig Divers, right? That's true. <laughs> it, 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 again, it's a name. Dino Nuggies is more of a, a stable kind of team. Which Gibraltar overall, the map changes pretty, pretty, pretty well throughout the entire map. I mean, I'd say like last, the last point is more of uh, something that is in Dino Nuggies' favor. The first points are maybe more so Brig Divers, but then it comes kind of down to the hybrids and what kind of the specifics of like. I mean, you could see the Genji come out even that last map and the Reaper, the uh, Cassidy, like. The, the the mixes that these teams can play it's going to be really interesting more of a more of a uh, milkshake <laughs> for uh, how these teams are going to play out oh now you've got me thinking about milkshakes uh. <laughs> <laughs> potato milkshake maybe oh no um, <laughs> that, now you don't have me thinking about milkshakes <laughs> like, is that what mashed potatoes is is mashed potatoes oh my a God. potato milkshake whoa <laughs> this blew my mind you know I think so I think so a chip shake there you go chip <laughs> shake. Or, or a fry shake if you're from the other end of the Atlantic yum oh my gosh to be but fair that... when you're at McDonald's do you or any other fast food restaurant do you ever dip the the chip or french fry into the the milkshake oh my god I, i've tried that at wendy's but i've I, i've got to now try it at mcdonald's because that does sound mcdonald's fries or chips are phenomenal i've heard Five. yeah if you get them warm the moment that they're cold they're ter anyway they <laughs> <laughs> have got a match on right now okay yeah the genji does come out the genji okay yeah more of a more of a dive hybrid for both of these teams yeah, we're poking and prodding right now. Just testing each other out. If you've got a Genji and a Nano on one team, you're thinking about that Nano Blade win condition. The defense probably looking for the Nano to go onto the monkey as both monkeys here. Teeing off. That Ash is going to be the, a pretty vulnerable pick for to defend against. Or to, 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 to defend. Yeah, poor Sora. Looking to uh, clip the wings of um, Matty, but not given an opportunity. Yeah, we've got Genji against a Tracer Duel happening on the point. That recall, oh. and we big. And oh, oh, for the oh but it's not there. available. Oh, it's going to be a truce for now. A parlay. That was close. That's a lot of free card progress, though. Not yeah, even Gage now onto Karuma on the monkey. That's going to get them a lot of value. They actually decided not to wait for Max's blade, and I think it's working out for them so far. But meanwhile, the defense has nanoed the table, and it has worked out. They're able to hold in. It's still in this kind of awkward poke stage. No full engage yet. Oh, he's coming up on Bob as well. Final. Coming out here from Kuruma, trying to stop them from touching the point. If they could just get the point by just pushing them off, that would be great. But no, people are sneaking by. It's a brawl here for both sides. The bomb's going to come out. That finds Kuruma. That's a huge pick for the defense. For that main tank, that's basically where she's gone. Dang. And he for getting the other tank. No tanks available for the attacking team. They did not stick with the mana blade here, and I think that may have costed them just a little bit. But uh, overall, this was a very successful push in my eyes. You got a lot of free card points. You're almost at the end, even. This is a Oh, a good sleep. Yeah, just the rest of the team falling apart. But both both teams kind of have one only one character that you can really uh, try and even look at diving upon, and that's going to be the Ana or the Ash. And so, I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I think the <laughs> I think you got cut off a bit there. Yes. Uh, but yeah, they're not yeah. pushing in. Oh, the, 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 the nano coming from the defense. The uh, aggro in the defense gonna get taken oh. down. There was no primal. Went way too far from the team there. Kelly's flat. Now they have to face against the nano blade coming in. They've rallied for it, but that's not enough to stop the power of Maxu here with that nano blade. And that's going to be all she wrote for this first point. 
There you go. And Animal Blade is far more precise and more uh, more damage dealing in just little areas rather than a Winston or something, which, I mean, would be good against a more stable team comp, but with both teams running dive, this is you can, you can see exactly why a Nano Blade is uh, going to be a more priority. Prior, priority. Yep, definitely. And moving into second, they're trying to keep this aggression up. It's all about controlling the spaceship, really, when it comes to the second point. It almost has Primal for Karuma, so might be going in deep soon. All this high ground, it's going to be a little troubling for Ash as well to really find some value, or at least get to where she even wants to be. Very true. Oh, that's a oh. nice dash there from Maxu to give her down, but the the reverse from LH Plat of the Primal has taken Massey down. Now in the back line of Dino Nuggies, it could be a bit of a problem for them, but that was a huge leap from Nell. They have the Nano available very percent until they have Blade though, so they might pull the trigger on the monkey instead. Meanwhile, this dynamite is burning them alive in here. Oh. In that moment, I could, I could see exactly why they're sticking with the S and the Sash. Even though it might be more difficult, it makes the dives from uh, the Tracer far more far more successful. Not only is the damage making the team back up, but it also just lowers down like a dynamite. Like uh, Everybody can down low enough for a uh, Tracer to finish off. Especially it helps in that uh, Genji 1v1 kind of setup. Absolutely. No. Oh, yeah. Some ultimates there... coming up. Yeah, they're below two minutes as well, so starting to think about getting this finished here. Defense looking Aver has got this pulse bomb and we've seen very aggressive pulse bombs from them throughout. Oh, there is! Oh, that was pretty aggressive <laughs> well. there. It goes. They do still have Bob. And they they do expect an Anna Blade. I'm I'm pretty Ooh. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you're expecting Can't Nanoblade, those, those are the picks that you want. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they do still, they, they're totally ready for this Nanoblade though, and you could already see, like, they're, they're, they're pushing their ultimates before Nuggies can even get the chance to. And they're really claiming the spaceship to make it even more difficult for a Nanoblade to really even be successful. Because Ash can just coach gun off of this, they can stun him, it's, uh, it's looking more, more and more of a decisively dense defense for, di for the divers. So this here comes the Nano onto the blade, it's left, but the dash is already, oh. someone walk it up, that's oh. gonna be a mistake of extra oh. proportions here, as, yeah, this is just completely torn apart the defense, now they're on the back foot, and this payload's gonna be on the move. Well, I mean, there goes my essay. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, okay, he, I, the DPS from Dino Nuggies are phenomenal. The synergy they have with the rest of the team is just uncanny. And right now, the, the, uh, it's coming down to... <laughs> he was unfortunately awoken, but uh, I think Divers can still pull off a, a pretty successful... Oh, looks like, yeah, they're coming in for a defense. Yeah, healing up, but that's another Chow Noi down. This Ana's been just been hounded by the Genji constantly, and this duplicate has completely destroyed the backline here. Getting this primal rage as well as that second health. And right at uh, one second before overtime will get it. Now, of course, it doesn't change anything, but now 90 seconds to get it all the way. Oh! Oh, he primals. Interesting. And then, oh. Okay, it uses resetting. But, okay. This last point is going to be really difficult to have these tanks for a defense because if you do try and dive anywhere, you, it, it can easily become easily punished by Dino Nuggies. Ana trying to take this position so that she becomes less diveable by divers because divers have found out that diving in Ana is a pretty, a pretty successful win condition here. Yep, I just starts. Oh, it's a big sleep though. I think immediately woken up again. If I already Ana's in this map, I'd be frustrated. Nano available. Here it comes with the back, so it's a big blade trying to open it up with Joe Noise. Gets the follow up. Now that both supports gone. That's what you want to see. Final fight territory. 30 seconds on the board. The table trying to stall this one out with a bomb. Oh, this is time. Max are really just slaying the enemy team right here. Oh, and the table. Is dealing damage as that baby diva, but of course there's limits to what you can do there. 
Tiny Tiger being sent back to spawn. Each match by a touch now with the ball. They can get it to overtime. They're laughing. That's what they're looking for right now. They don't want to win. They want to get this overtime. I don't think they can touch here. Yeah, they were just booped Oof. off. 2.9 seconds on the board. Sheesh. What a... What a, I mean, they did they did only get 2.9 seconds, but it looked like they just had such a flow throughout this map. I mean, they did have that stagger on the second point, but the same way they, they, they succeeded through it is the same way they went through this entire match. Nanoblading Max out, and he's just getting supreme value. I mean, unfortunately, there, there seems to be some alarm clocks here in this game, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, defending against such a, such a raging Genji. See this play? Yeah. I mean, you don't need to get 6k with a nano blade, right? Sure, that'll look really nice in your montage, but getting one or both of the supports is value enough, especially if, you know, they're close to their ult. Tiny Tiger, of course, had the rally. Oh, yeah. I mean, break divers, I mean, personally, I would I would, I would, have switched off of the, the dive tanks because not only when your supports get knocked out, but yeah, look, they're... Um, they might they might play this sorry the the double bubble we'll see how it goes but they're, 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 both teams are identifying we were just talking about last game how the supports are really highlighting everybody but now the supports themselves are being highlighted and targeted and defended against because it's coming down to just, this Gibraltar all the, all this high ground all these dives and uh, it looks like Dino Nuggies uh, Null is really taking the taking the name here and here's this replay of another Nano Blade the oh, yeah. value. Oh, you wish that that sleep state though, <laughs> don't you? You just wish, because then you would have still had your break. That Ash would have just jumped off a high ground, maybe start setting up for a dynamite. Uh -uh. Oh, this is this is, wow. Oh my lord! Uh, <laughs> talk about aggressive defense. We mentioned it before. Come back with our replay with fury. <laughs> I mean, heck, dude. Both, both. See, both of these Dino Nuggies DPS are just phenomenal. The, the team really has a lot of harmony, I guess. <laughs> right, double bubble. <laughs> double oh. bubble, yeah, not working out too well for them right now. As LH Black gets completely splatted. And this dive into the backline. This is an extraordinary aggressive defense. I've I've not seen this in quite some time. A team being this aggressive on point one defense. This is outstanding from the Dino Nuggets. If last round was all about Max, this round is all about Matt. I mean, Echo in the spawn room is not really able to get countered, even by the Hanzo. You can't really dive though as well. So they're just trying to wait until the Echo sits down, but they're just not sitting down. <laughs> Diver is trying to find any any kind of opening. They, they switch to a full more dive with, with the Diva to try and, I guess, eat up the, the barrages from the Echo. Nano available for Dino Nuggies, and yeah, as soon as I mention it, comes out, dive on two of them. LH Plat has been wow. completely torn apart in this attack, not getting any leeway here. Trying to, trying to keep the team alive, but in a risky position themselves alone, if someone notices them, they could be in trouble as Max, who is actually sneaking yeah. up with the pulse. Oh. oh, yeah, I just got the mech there, I think. It's so, oh wow, still making it out. That's insane. Yeah, no, these 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 Anas are really cracking it up. Oh. There's a blade. The blade. There's, there's a blade some... happening right now. Yeah, and the bat Aver bladed alone without the team didn't get the nano completely taken apart by the defense. Now the nano has went on to LH Plant here and the monkey, but not getting the value. Actually diving out despite having primal. There's some there's some minor mistakes here that are becoming into major issues for this attacking team. Oh, absolutely, and like, both teams have the ults that they do. Like divers, like the, the LH. Okay, LH Plant's gonna be able to go a little more aggressive here, but no, well, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> things are becoming scrappier by the second. This is I know they're really just trying to make it a, a group up again. Okay. Yeah, this Primal Rage Hanna. in the corner, trying to bully the Anna into a corner. We'll eventually get it, but is it going to be a trade? If it's worth it, we will need to see. Uh, it's a main tank for a, a support there. Sora Ooh, getting Matea. Yeah, that's a good shot there. Brick Divers maybe have some leeway here, but they're not coordinated right now. No, no this, this fight has been going on for a long time, and it's just been more and more trades. 
Okay. Okay, rally. Oh, no, we have Mini Tiger. Yep, that's gonna be the armor coming out as they push together. Matty needs to be careful. Sora hitting those arrows. Dragon available also as it's gonna come out there. That's perfectly oh. placed. Not even in the small room, but on the entrance way back. Gonna get two. Sora coming out big in this fight. That's why you see Maxu diving onto them. Now the Anna. Gonna get the sleep before taking it out, but will eventually uh, go down. Two minutes, 14. Time bank going into second. You can finally, finally see that the Hanzo is getting some value here. I, I, I was honestly just kind of trying to struggle up how they, they were going to get out of that spawn, but finally they make it through, and you can actually see how how well this Hanzo fits in this map. The, not only the Sonar arrows, but those that dragon was truly well, perfectly placed. And you can finally start taking down the Echo, even given the given the massive amounts of high grounds for both sides here. Yeah. Trying to do something about that echo. <laughs> yeah, Nano gonna come in early here. That's what you want to see from the attacking team. Just forcing them on the way back. Utilizing the primal, trying to get some environmentals off the cliff. Not gonna work out. In fact, their health bar gonna go a little low there. Both. Both. It looks like they're still gonna keep planning it. Yeah, still going. Dive into the spaceship, they're gonna take Chownoid down. Ava with the pulse bomb, but it's scrappy enough that the defense has the advantage in this one. You see them backing up now. 90 sure. seconds on the board, and they don't have much to push this payload yet. 90 seconds is not a bad time for how far you've gotten it in that amount of time, though, I believe. Especially given the how many ultimates you got out from the Nuggies. I mean, they don't even have a DPS ult yet, so this is actually a really key opening for Diamonds to push in with this Hanzo. Uh, oh, but how they're going to go about going about it, I don't think they can really start the fight with it, but rather a dive that compresses into it. And seeing how it's going to fall out, they're going to try and take the spaceship so that way they can have that bird's eye view of uh, where to start this fight exactly. Coming up on Beaver Bomb as well. This is going to be a pretty strategic downfall. Now the defense looking to jump in there, Chow Nong trying to build up this nano. See Sora has a brick cornered but can't quite follow up onto it. Has the high ground control now, which Matty might suffer from. Meanwhile, Aver on the Genji getting that differential of the Max who wouldn't think I would have seen it. Aver coming up massive in this fight here. The dash kills have been huge. Outstanding gameplay from the Genji. Um I, I, I can't even believe I didn't even I <laughs> the, the the Skenji came in like a like a blazing bullet. That was phenomenal. Like it, it, it's much better than the tracer in this scenario because you can you can uh, have more health and you can have that shotgun damage most importantly. Which if Echo is more of a more of a machine gun damage, having a shotgun in this case is really helpful if you've got the dive and you've got the focus that divers do on that Ana. Because they're not they're not they're not playing bad so far. They are not playing bad. They know what to do and they know their win conditions. But having having the map more in their favor with this Genji is going to be uh, pretty crucial for getting it to this last point. Yep, both Nano Blades are available here. It's going to be which one gets the value. As there's the Nano coming onto Max, who was anti so so doesn't get a healing from it. It's already taken Chownoi down, so you can't Nano your own Genji. Hello, Aver. Well, take the Genji down. Could Blade here, but won't get the Nano, so probably not. Probably going to hold in and wait. That's gonna be a pretty, a pretty uh, good wait because they got they got Nano Blade while <laughs> Nuggets really only have Rally for this defense. And if yeah. they can knock out Diva before they get their pulse, uh, their uh, their nuke, this is gonna be a pretty easy downfall for the rest of them. And here it is the powered up Blade coming in, taking out the Rally already. That's huge, but <laughs> Axel has a lot oh. to say about it. Is that enough though for the attacking team to get the value as they push in? They have the advantage in manpower right now as Axel is going to be d also. Anti-nade onto the table. Probably not going to get the follow-up though as the defense are in a bit of struggle as the drag comes in to split those down the line. LH Plant a little caught off from the rest of the team, but table coming up big of the bomb. I'm going to be pretty happy with that, re uh, that d mech really too. Oh, they swap off to Reaper though. Good. Yes, and uh, yeah, but got to overtime, but both teams under one minute. If there's a cap, it is going to be another attack for both sides here. The rally onto the Brigitte to try and keep the team in it for Dino Nuggies as they're coming back onto the point. 
No alts coming up, apart from Mate's jupe. If Mate can get back and jupe, that'd be huge, but I don't think there's going to be a chance here. As wow. yet, it's pretty much the exact same time bank for both running into these extra rounds. That was a phenomenal comeback for divers. I mean, from that, from those first beginning scenes of just getting utterly spawn camped, I actually thought the game was going to end around there, but they really managed to pull through, and they pulled through all the way to the end of the point. And doing that with Genji, doing that with Hanzo, you know, Pixie, uh, Hanzo, have you seen Hanzo uh, do as well as on this map before? Um. Well, have I seen Hanzo on this map before? Yeah. <laughs> it's rare. Um, I feel like I will have seen it because you do see, of course, the, the the double bubble on the attack sometimes, and sometimes the team will pick the, the Hanzo for it. It's a little rarer, but you know the the map likes those long sight lines. It likes those high grounds, and of course Hanzo can climb. And if Hanzo's dived, of course has that um, small kind of jolt to the side to try and keep himself alive. So it it's a pick that's worked out for them, and oh. you know I think we'll keep up with it. It was especially complimented with the Genji. I mean, back in the day, I used to call it the Weeaboo Brothers, but <laughs> it, it, was, it was just excellent on this map because both of them, it's really just a playground for them, and you could really actually see the divers just basically playing with their food, essentially. Absolutely. And here's a little replay here of Aver just tearing it up on second. Might see more of the same from Brick Divers. They realize, oh, we put Aver and Genji, and stuff happens. <laughs> That's exactly how the comms went. I can I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Messi star. Of course, I don't know. He's had a very aggressive defense at the beginning. I would imagine brick divers are prepped for that though. As you see, he's kind of at that doorway, possibly staging to, to jump in. No, oh, Aver, it's gonna go down. Oh, that was close. We got Tracer as well instead of a Genji now on the defense. This is gonna be. Uh, I'm excited to see how that turns out. I think the, the biggest thing to watch out for right now is a uh, uh, Cho Noise Nano is prepped and um, almost ready to go. It's probably going to go into LH Plat here with a dive, and that might catch Dino Nuggies off guard here. Already bringing down the Echo Low. That's a huge sleep. Oh, from both ends, actually. <laughs> The Nano actually went on to Aver, who got anti taken down. Dino Nuggies looking to stop this one at point one, but Sora and Table have other things to do here. But Chow Noi equalizing it. It's messy. Axel on the Baby Diva. Mate has the dupe. This could be what wins it out here for the defense. Is actually going to steal that Mega from Tiny Tiger. That was cool. Yeah, that was cruel. Bomb comes out from the jupe. This could be big. Actually, thanks to Annoy. That's an outstanding pick in this moment that they need. Maxu has this pulse bomb. Needs to come up big. But oh, taken out by Aver. Won't be able to oh. use the pulse. Aver almost a blade. This could turn around. Max, uh, Matty, though, with the beam. There's the blade onto Matty. Oh my goodness. Room on the table, though. It's really back and forth. I think Dino Nuggies have the edge right now. And the overtime meter will fall. Wow. That's a very good defense. That divers almost had that. I, I, oh my goodness. I mean, you could, I, could, I guess you could see in that, in, in that very long fight, how the tracer could kind of help and not help in that scenario. It, it, oh my god. But I think that was just for each team really getting a highlight of their own, of, of their own. Yeah, as you can see. The deep, oh my gosh. Oh, outstanding last moment plays. Yeah, getting this pulse bomb off the board really oh. created an opportunity for Aver, who then had the blade. But unfortunate for those efforts, it was Dino Nuggies that held in Karuma with a great primal rage, of course, being able to control the space on point. And I believe actually booped the ball off, which is what allowed the overtime to roll out. I, I told you at the start, folks, and I don't lie. This was going to be a fight, and it has been. These two teams won it hard, and they have been equal. It's one to one to one in this series. Someone is going to come out here looking stronger than the other. And right now, Dino Nuggies have the opportunity to shock their opponents. After, after, after calming myself down after that stimulating climax, dude, it, it looked like actually they, bo both teams kind of knocked out the usefulness of both of their Anas. So it really came down to just these seconds of health packs of when people even came up. So just really on spur moment of the decisions, just really just like 
really oh, present oh, wow. in a dive. Ellie's plugging the value. I don't know if you saw there, but there was actually an off-angle dive position from deep within the defense, from the attacker's area, and Ellie's oh. went back to that position. That was instant. Looks like they're, they're going to be holding the more aggressive spawn now. Yeah. Dino Nuggies a little bit shocked that their own <laughs> setup is working against them, but with Ellie's black gone, sure, you traded for Maxu, but a main tank for a DPS. In a situation like this, I would say that the team that got the main tank out has the advantage, but Aver looking to prove me wrong as ever. Both teams fly flying in this tracer, but now Dino Nuggies with the Echo. La last time they had a Hanzo to sort of end up dealing with it, but now they don't. And I'm seeing how they're going to try and play around the rest of the big team. It looks like they're going to lose less of the focus on that. Nano wants to Aver and Chow now going to get Matty. This could be huge. I didn't expect to see this, but the defense oh of pulls in even closer <laughs> than before. Rick Divers want it. And they're defending oh everything anyone can touch. What an upset in the final wow. moments of this incredible matchup today. Brick Divers taking it. What an outstanding end to the series. GG. Holy, I mean, yeah, Maxa was brilliant, but that last, they, I think they, I think they took off the focus from the echo and just started going foot to foot with everybody else. But out of it, that was just one heck, one heck of a comeback, bro. Oh my, I mean, <laughs> it, got, it got me a little bit speechless at the end there. Uh, no wonder. I mean, all these replays are Genjis, and they're Genjis for a reason. Uh, of course, shout out to Chao Noi, who got an elimination Im immediately after nanoing, and that's the sort of uh, multi-attention you want from your flex support, from your Ana, for sure. And this blade just caused so much damage. Oh. The fact that they held in even closer than Dino Nuggies did. This was to the wire at every moment mm -hmm. and it's been such a joy to watch this i will say that it really was, was this was my first match that i've uh professionally sort of casted and i mean what a treat <laughs> these two teams came into this with two and no and i mean this was a well-deserved i mean you can't really go home crying after that with the nuggies like that was that was just you, you you put your you put your nose to the grinder and that was just you put you put it all your head honestly i thought they were gonna win this entire game i mean <laughs> in the end it just really they came down they they Divers just held that really, really smart. They they ended up focusing on what they could deal with. It looked like they directed their attention onto the brig. You could see in that last replay with the Genji going on to the brig, and everyone else sort of just falling around it because I don't think they the rest of the team expected it. It was just that was just phenomenal play, dude. I'm 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 honored. <laughs> yeah, a lot of first tonight. Yeah, it's my first tranquility stream, and I gotta say. I have been spoiled. This was an outstanding match. I said at the start, when I noticed both of these teams had not lost yet, I knew we were going to see something great, and we did from both sides. It has been outstanding. It was a battle. It was a fight. And that's when you see what teams are made of. That's when you see, okay, oh, yeah. they scrim really well, they have good comms, coordination, but can they bring it out when they need to? If the chips are down, it's over time, can you keep focus, keep your cool in that moment? And it was the brick divers that got the edge, even though it was such a close defense from Dino Nuggies previously. Oh, yeah. This was this was just a great matchup for sure. Dino Nuggies definitely. Oh my god! If Dino Nuggies were the opposite of cool the entire time, they were on fire. They were lava. Br Divers just ended up being way cooler. Like they they really did keep their cool. It was something like like an iceberg smashing against the volcano there in that last in those last seconds, especially those alt. It came down to every ultimate that you had, every mm -hmm. second that you could see somebody. I mean, it, from the start, that Winston two K. I mean, who would have seen that coming? Like they they, yeah. they really just gave it their all onto that, and it was really well rewarded by the rest of the team. If I said that Nuggies had harmony, uh, <laughs> divers have melody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of harmony, this was your matchup in the EU Harmony Division. Uh, it's season nine, and Dino Nuggies they have a few players that won season eight, but looks like Brick Divers are looking to get that golden dub themselves. Uh, thank you, McMissile, for joining me tonight. Hey, thank you, Gio. That, 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 that was a phenomenal time. What can I say?
Yeah. Uh, thank you to Dan for producing for the Observer tonight. And Happy, thank you for all the watched. And to the teams for letting us stream. It was an outstanding match. My name's been Gio. I've been casting for you. And don't forget to laugh loud and love yourself, folks. Good night. <laughs>
I love these exit pits picks. I don't think there's gonna be any reports this year. That was phenomenally fast. Almost 40 seconds for a capture. I think they they the punish onto the May. Choke. Oh. Break, break divers do have this back window though. This is a really good spot to use. So I don't think Nuggies are gonna actually be uh, foreseeing this. Yeah. Oh, big charge deep into the team. That could be an issue though for the charge. You know, the charger. And yeah, this wall has got so much issue. Shadow comes out, doesn't find too much, but the window comes up also. It's a messy, scrappy oh, wow. fight, but it's the side of oh. Brick Divers <laughs> getting all that value of the Blizzard. Get it, but here's the bomb trying to create some space. And it is going to be the beat coming out to protect the team. Tiny Tiger, very deep, but oh. it's flat. It's getting the value from again that speed into the back line, swinging hard. Those big meaty fuds of the Reinhardt Hammer dealing that damage. Now it's null left, but that's going to be taken down. Can anybody touch here? Switch to the ball, but no. That's a healthy time bank. All these windows have been not only been coming at clutch, but the immortality fields are really preventing uh, Maggie's Mazo from getting lost, Maxo from getting lots of value. Especially when the, the side lanes are covered from Ash. Oh. So there's the barrage, the, the high noon gonna catch them though. Robert gonna follow up onto Cassidy. Pulse bomb in the middle of it, gonna take Null down. That's a lot of the healing gone for Dino Nuggies. It's a big scrap in the library. You're not meant to be very loud in them. <laughs> Everything we need to get this done. 90 seconds on the board. The team trying to touch now. Brick Divers trying to keep it alive, but the DPS going to keep them in the spawn. Beat though is going to keep them alive for now. Tiny Tiger just trying to stay on the point. The Shatter could turn this around. Elite Flat getting a big Shatter, but here comes the Blade. This could turn it around. It's very back and forth. Doomfist going to go down in the ball. Oh. oh my lord. It's <laughs> Nanoblade coming in, they've rallied for it, but that's not enough to stop the power of Maxu here with that Nanoblade. And that's going to be all she wrote for this first point. There you go. The Nanoblade is far more precise and more uh, more damage dealing in just little areas rather than a Winston or something, which, I mean, would be good against a more stable team comp, but with both teams running dive, this is you could, you could see exactly why a Nanoblade is uh, going to be a more prior... To, prior Starting to think about getting this finished here. Defense, looking. Aver has got this pulse bomb, and we've seen very aggressive pulse bombs from them throughout. Oh, there is! Oh, that was pretty aggressive. <laughs> well. but, uh, there it goes. They do still have Bob. And they, they do expect an Anna Blade. I'm, I'm pretty... Oh! oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, if you're expecting Nanoblade, Nano those are the picks that you want. Difficult <laughs> for a Nanoblade to really even be successful. Because Ash can just coach gun off of this. They can stun him. It's uh, it's looking more more and more of a decisively dense defense for de for the divers. So this here comes the Nano onto the blade. It's left, but the dash is already. Oh. Someone walk it up. That's going to be a mistake <laughs> of... Extra proportions here, as yeah, this is just completely torn apart the defense. Now they're on the oh, the big sleep though. I think immediately woken up again. If I already Anna's in this map, I'd be frustrated. Nano available here. It comes with the back, so it's a big blade trying to open it up with Jono. It gets the follow up now. That's both supports gone. That's what you want to see. Final fight territory. 30 seconds on the board, the table trying to. Stall this one out with a bomb. Oh, this is Going on for a long time and it's just been more and more trades. Okay. Okay, rally. And then we have Tiny Tiger. Yep, that's gonna be the armor coming out as they push together. Matty needs to be careful. Sora hitting those arrows. Dragon available also as it's gonna come out there. That's perfectly oh. placed, not even in the small room, but on the entrance way back. Gonna get two Sora coming out big in this fight. That's why you see Maxu diving onto them. It's the high ground control now, which Matty might suffer from. Meanwhile, Aver on the Genji, getting that differential onto Maxu. Wouldn't think I would have seen it. Aver coming up massive in this fight here. The dash kills have been huge. Outstanding gameplay from the Genji. Um. I, I, I can't even believe I didn't even I <laughs> the, the the Skenji came in like a like a blazing bullet. That was phenomenal. Like it, it, it's much better than the chaser in this scenario. 
I'm gonna be pretty happy with that re uh, that D-Mech early too. Oh, they swap off to Reaper though. Yes. And yeah, but got to overtime, but both teams under one minute. If there's a cap, it is gonna be another attack for both sides here. The rally onto the Brigitte to try and keep the team in it for Dino Nuggies as they're coming back onto the point. No alts coming up apart from Mate's Jup. If Mate can get back and Jup, that'd be huge, but I don't think there's gonna be a chance here. As wow. yet, Cruel Bomb comes out from the Jup. This could be big. Actually, finds Sho annoyed that an outstanding pick in this moment that they need. Maxu has this pulse bomb. Needs to come up big. But oh, taken out by Aver. Won't be able to oh. use the pulse. Aver almost a blade. This could turn around. Max uh, Mate though with the beam. There's the blade onto Mate. Oh my goodness. Remote the table though. It's really back and forth. I think Dino Nuggies have the edge right now. And the overtime meter will fall. Wow. That's up. Both teams fly flying in this tracer, but now Dino Nuggies with the Echo. La last time they had a Hanzo to sort of end up dealing with it, but now they don't. And I'm seeing how they're gonna try and play around the rest of the big team. It looks like they're gonna lose less of their focus on that. Nano wants it Aver and Chono gonna oh. get Matty. This could be huge! I didn't expect to say this, but the defense oh is pulled in even closer <laughs> than before. Rick Divers want it! And they're defending oh everything anyone can touch! What an upset in the f get the pocket without the mercy if you get that discord or if there's the dive coming in but 